you touched on the idea that there was uh, something besides hit radio, because, um, for example, in the Yardbirds and, and all of music, and especially British music at the time, um, it, it was chart driven and hit driven. And right at this time when maybe there is a format to do something that isn't hit driven, you seem to kind of walk right into it. And me as a fan, for example, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know that you were actually doing something that would allow someone like me years later to have a career doing what I want and not having to have hit driven rock and roll music. Um, it appears to me, kind of in going through your story, that you did it. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, you know, what it, what, what it was, was that um, it, the, the, the ascent is, is so incredibly fast, because I told you that like, the Yalbas decided to dissolve, and that was in July of 1968. And by the end of December 1968, we've already, well, I've, I've, re I've rehearsed the band in my house and routined what is going to be the album and the tour and we've gone to Scandinavia and we've done a handful of dates so that we've run through and we've you know we really juiced up then we go in to record in uh, October September and well October and then we're over here um, sort of supporting the Vanilla Fudge by the end of the year so it's so fast we've done the first album and the first album is sort of due to come out with with Led Zeppelin because uh, when the Yardbirds had sort of said, well, that's it, we don't want to, we want to do something really... Actually, I'll tell you what they said. They said they wanted to do something like the Turtles. Do you uh, remember that? Yes. To get <laughs> well, yeah, but that's what, they wanted, that's what they wanted to do. And I thought, actually, I don't want to do anything like the Turtles. I want to <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was left. I was left to form the band. Now, now, I knew that at that time there was a big focus on guitar. So I wanted to make it a tour de force for the guitar. So for my playing, it was going to be everything from like acoustic through to electric. There's pedal steel on it. There's everything. I'm throwing everything in on it to get all these guitar textures. So it goes from like really rude bottleneck through to like very sensitive acoustic. It was going to be a, gu a guitar tour de force, but not at the expense of the other members. This was the key to it. But everyone needed to be really, really heard. And, and the combination of this worked really great. And you've got like John Bonham, who was very regional as a drummer. He hadn't really. Uh, fantastic. Well, he was very. He, he was regional. He, he came. You know, he lived in sort of Birmingham. And and that's Robert Plan. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, he, he he was touring with somebody called Tim Rose, who who, who did. Um, hey Joe and Morning Dew, mm -hmm. the one that uh, hey, hey Joe that Hendrix did. But he, he just about come down. I saw him play in London, um, and he played. I mean, I felt his drums. I felt his drumming. But I tell you something in Led Zeppelin with the, the quality of musicianship that was here with John Paul Jones <laughs> and, and everybody. Uh, 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 it was not so. It's a guitar. Guitar tour de force, as I've said, but not at the expense of everybody else. But when we were playing, and when we had all this rehearsal time, which wasn't that much, but everything was so, it was done with like ruthless efficiency and drive, and everyone just sort of started playing in the stratosphere, me included, because I never played guitar like I did on that first album. And John Bonham, John Bonham had the chance to play drums like he's imagined playing because he's got this great vehicle to play in and uh, and and also uh, John Paul Jones who's, who's done remarkable sort of session work he's got quite a CV but he never played like he had in this and it was the same for all of us we just went on to this sort of level of playing but the synchronicity was superb and you can you know it's you can hear everybody which was the whole idea of the, the production of the album so that you would hear it everything that was going on, all this counterpoint. Yeah, one thing you told me before was that the, 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 the most important thing was that the, here's four guys who are all these incredible musicians, all essentially being let off the chain for the first time at the same time on this first Led Zeppelin record. That's and right. then you hear it. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And, and the whole blend of it is just fantastic, you know, because it's just these musical equals that just go 
just take off. Right on.